ऑनरेबल मेंबर श्री एनके प्रेम थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस्टर चेयरमैन सर फॉर गिविंग मी दिस दिस चांस टू टेक पार्ट इन द डिस्कशन ऑन ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिल सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी अमेंडमेंट बिल 2023 सर आई राइज टू सपोर्ट फुल्ली द सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज अमेंडमेंट बिल 2023 providing a central university samaka saraka central tribal university in the state of telangana in two ways this is to be appreciated number one is it is honoring the commitment made by the andhra pradesh state reorganization act in the year 2014 for which series of agitations we have witnessed even in this house one of the one of the demands of that state is being fulfilled in that way it is to be appreciated and another one is according to this this is a very according to me this is a very good move to achieve the goal of social justice that too among the tribal population in the country so the tribal population is the marginalized section of the society and the suffering community they are being deprived of the basic human rights since long and after the constitution after independence we are trying our level best to put them in the mainstream of uh, our main national stream but even after 75 years of our independence we are not able to bring them in the mainstream because of so many reasons i am not going to all the reasons so as for ages the tribal population the basic reason is that access to higher education or access to quality education is not there we all know that the education is the strongest weapon in the world so as to transform a society here as far as the tribal population is concerned access to quality education is very very remote that is the basic reason by which they are not be able to uplift the communities or the tribal population in our country so as far as this bill is concerned definitely this will be providing an opportunity to have access to quality higher education in the central university in the state of telangana and that too exclusively for the tribal population therefore this has to be appreciated and why it is in the state of telangana also it is being justified why because sir see the literacy rate in the tribal population is very very lower than that of the national average the national average of the literacy rate is 73% but unfortunately as far as the tribal population is concerned this is only 59% and if you see the gross enrollment rate in telangana the national average is 18.9% but in telangana it is only 7.8% so a central tribal university in the state of telangana is well justified it is not only providing an avenue for the educational opportunities but also it is promoting and empowering in the societal and economic empowerment of the marginalized section of the society that is the tribal population therefore i fully agree appreciate and support the central university amendment bill providing a new a higher university central university exclusively for the tribal population sir i would like to seek certain clarifications from the minister from the government regarding this is exclusively for the tribal population so i would like to know that what would be the mode of admission for this uh, university and also the regarding the curriculum also the curriculum also what are the courses to be offered what is the curriculum of this university for which a for which a detailed explanation is required and also the mode of admission is also has to be explained so most of the members honorable members in this house during the interventions all of them has uh, express their concerns regarding the quality of our higher education i would also like to stress saukdar rao ji is also mentioned that point sir even after seven and a half decades of independence we are celebrating the amrutkal mahotsav even at this time we are having 56 central universities more than 1000 universities but even after 75 years of our independence we are not able to have a single university within the list of 200 universities having international or global standard what is the reason why it is so because this has to be taken very care of we are all demanding since long 
for having not less than 6% of the GDP has to be spent or allocated for the education purposes. But unfortunately, it is being just now stated that year, by year after year, the allocation or the contribution for the education is being diminished in one way or another way. So that is that so not less than 6% of the GDP has to be spent for the education that to in particular in particular this higher education sir since the quality of education is very less what is a societal impact is there there is a big impact is there in my state also it is well known to me after plus two almost all the students are going abroad for higher education either europe Canada, UK, US and Ireland and so many other countries, nowadays the young and adolescent people is missing. A, a statistical report has come to, in Kerala, in the state of Kerala, it has come to prove that after, by 2030, the state of Kerala will be an old age home because students will not be there, young and adolescent population will be missing because we are not able to provide quality education in our country. And also some of the state governments are taking it as a, it is an achievement that we are able to provide foreign education for this much number of students. Sir, one thing you have to keep it in mind, those students who are migrating from India to Canada, Europe, UK, US and all these countries, they are not coming back. They are staying back there. They will get the citizenship and they will stay back there. That means the brain drain is in a much way. So that issue has to be addressed. How to address, improve the quality of higher education in our state. That is the way by which we can address the issue of this migration. And also, even at the time when this government has come to power in the year 2014, so many announcements, so many programs, so many projects were announced that the government is going to have tie-up with foreign universities and having better, higher quality education in our country so that our students' community will be getting better education of international standard. But unfortunately, after, even after nine and a half years or even after including the 10th year of this government, whether we are able to achieve any best standard of education, higher education in our country. No, sir. And also there was another argument that since it is public institutions, it is under the government, we are not able to have good standard of education. We have privatized the higher education, not only higher education, the entire education system is privatized. Even the commercialization of education is going on. Even after rampant privatization, indiscriminate and rampant privatization of the education, even after that, we are not able to have the international standard of education in our educational institutions means we have to think of it we have to think of it in a very better threadbare manner so as to build up or so as to improve the quality of education in our country sir what is one of the main reasons with that reason i will conclude one of the main reasons for the quality of education with low quality of education is politicizing the educational system in our country that is the base, you know the universities, you are well aware, you are also spoke today in the morning, in the zero hour submission, that politicization in the state of Kerala, governor versus, governor versus this government is going on in the education, in the nine universities for the last, yes sir, for the last two years, there is no vice chancellors. In charge, vice chancellors will be provided and, and, and the party political administration is going on. So the highest politicization of the education system and also the university grants commission has issued a circular yesterday. The minister has also admitted to a question asked by Supriya Suleji and the minister has admitted that a direction has been given to all the universities by way of a circular that a selfie point has to be installed all the university campus on the background of the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. Sir, if this will happen in the country, definitely all the chief ministers in the state, they will also issue the circulars that all the public educational institutions and all the colleges and the schools, a selfie point of the chief minister has to be installed so as to propagate their political popular image of the chief minister and the political leadership in our country. Is it fair as far as the education system is concerned? This is absolutely 
completely politicizing. Party politicization of education system is the main reason for the lowering of the standard of education in our country. So that has to be addressed. Sir. The final point which I would like to conclude, that is just like that of the scheduled tribes in our country, one of the marginalized sections of the society is the coastal marine fishermen community in our country. Sir, we are having a big coastal way and their living standard is very poor. The marine fishermen community, coastal fishermen community, their living standards is very poor. So I would like to urge upon the government or to demand to the government to have a marine university, to have a marine university which is giving preferential treatment to the fishermen community that is better to have it in the state of Kerala, having a coastal, coastal area of more than 600 kilometers. So I urge upon the government to have a central marine university giving preferential treatment to the fishermen community in the state of Kerala. With these words, once again, I fully support the bill and compliment and congratulate the government for providing and bringing such a bill. With these words, I conclude. Thank you very much, sir. Honorable Member Rehuram Krishnaraji. Very brief.